What's happening, Booty Warriors? Cowboy here, and today I'm bringing you guys a channel update video. So it's been a little bit of time since I've done one of these. Uh, I've actually been meaning to start doing these more frequently. Um, and anyway, you know, a lot's been going on with life and whatnot and with the channel, so I felt it only appropriate to get a video out to you guys and give you an update. So obviously, over the course of the last month almost, um, you know, the main content you guys have been seeing is Heroes of the Storm, Heroes of the Storm, lots of Heroes of the Storm. Um, and there's been a lot of questions, you know, where's, when are we going to see more Dark Souls? Where's No Man's Sky? When's Summer of Witcher? When are you doing Fallout DLC? Um, so in short, over the course of the last month, I ended up closing in my first house, which I'm in, uh, this is my new recording room. You know, there's my, my napping couch, um, my little green screen. But anyway, um, for those that don't know, closing on a house is just fucking nuts like just so much shit to do um and going from the apartment to the house obviously there is a lot of furnishing i had to do so i've been you know just constantly shopping getting you know at this point my downstairs is set up my recording room is set up uh kitchen set up bedrooms almost done and then like the whole den upstairs hasn't even been fucking furnished yet um, so there's still a lot to do, but at this point it's, it's comfortable and livable and, you know, we're, we're getting back on track with recording. Um, on top of that, all of last week, I actually went on vacation. I was out in Key West for a week, first vacation I've had in four fucking years. So, uh, you know, very much needed time to just kind of relax, not worry about like the real job or recording or streaming or anything. Um, but either way, you know, now we are back. We're nice. We're settled into the house. Things are going well. Um, so with that, I wanted to bring you guys a video basically discussing some of the content that will be upcoming on the channel, uh, as well as discussing some of those games I previously mentioned that a lot of people were wondering uh, where they were going to come and what the case is. So obviously, as I mentioned at the start, I've been playing a lot of Heroes of the Storm lately, and I still do like Heroes, but um, just with the way Rank's been going, I am going to take a short break from Heroes to focus on other content. Um, likely when the, the new Machines of War content drop comes out, there's going to be two new maps, um, two new heroes, and a bunch of skins. Um, you know, hero guides, those will still be happening. Uh, I'll just be taking a break from the daily dose. Um, and then that'll resume whenever we start seeing the new content drop out. Um, but, so moving on, we're in the middle of August right now, right? Obviously, August, great month. My birthday month, August 23rd. Feel free to send presents. Um, but what do we have up and coming in August, you may be wondering. So first up, we got Deuce X. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I, I've always said do sex, but you guys know I butcher the shit out of words. Um, so that's going to be coming up in about a week. Um, along with that, I also got another game from Square called The Turing Test. It's kind of a uh, portal-esque puzzle solver. Um, so that's going to be coming along with do sex as well. So look forward to both of those. Um, should be fun, you know, get a good RPG to take up some time. Uh, and then as we move into the end of August, there is the Attack on Titan game for PS4 coming out. As you guys know, I'm a huge anime fan, so definitely looking into that. Um, kind of interested to see how well it translates, because I feel like the controls could be kind of wonky, but I mean, hey, we'll find out what happens. Um, and then as many of you may have realized, I started playing World of Warcraft again. And of course, we have Legion releasing on August 30th. So... <clears throat> Let's get to the elephant in the room, World of Warcraft. As a lot of you know, World of Warcraft is kind of a life destroyer. Um, takes up a lot of time, takes up a lot of content, and you may be wondering, you know, how much of an impact is WoW going to have on my channel? Um, so to answer that, I am going to be working WoW content in. I a multi-gladiator. I used to be 27-something on my Hunter, 2400 on my Rogue, uh, 2300 on my Feral, 2200 Mage, like... So, when it comes to PvP, that was my shit, and wow. And I had a bunch of friends that were like, yo, Legion's coming out, come back for Legion. And I'm like, alright, I'll do it. So, um, leveling up some characters now, while they're in the pre-Legion events, waiting for the expansion. Uh, but I will be doing lots of PvP content for that. More than likely, the WoW content will be stream-focused, versus, like, YouTube episode-focused. Um... But for those that don't know, all the content that I stream on Twitch is also dual streamed to YouTube. So if you're a World of Warcraft fan, you'll be able to catch that. Um, but yes, yeah, so, you know, don't worry. WoW isn't going to take over the channel, but there will be some. So hopefully you guys like PvP because I really enjoy it. Uh, moving into September. September, there's not a lot on the horizon, but there is the Bioshock remasters coming out. And as you guys know, I did Bioshock Infinite on the channel a couple of years ago, and believe it or not, I've never actually gotten through Bioshock 1 or 2. I started playing Bioshock 1 way back in the day, um, long, long before I'd ever started a channel, 
and my computer was just so shitty that it couldn't like render the fire on the water in the opening cutscene really and I was like fuck this game and I just quit um, so I would like to check those out I mean they're they're both very very well known games they're both very popular so I think that would be something really fun to tackle for September is going through the remastered versions of Bioshock 1 and 2 um, as we move into October, we got Xenoverse 2. I know Xenoverse, the first one was a huge hit in the channel. As you guys know, I grew up with Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, so definitely really pumped for that. Going to be going through a full Let's Play series with that, and then, um, you know, if there's enough people around, I wanted to do tournaments with the first one, but they just never got organized. Maybe this time we can do that. Uh, in addition to that, of course, we have Last Guardian coming out. Assuming it actually comes out, I don't know. I feel like it might still be a prank, and like the last minute they're going to be like, just kidding, it's coming out in four more years, but we'll see. That should be in October. Uh, moving into November, what are we going to list? A game everyone's been talking about a lot, Dishonored 2. Now, to be completely honest, I didn't really enjoy the first Dishonored all that much. I kind of went through, I had, had some fun with it, I beat it, but it wasn't really a game that I was like, oh, this is awesome. Regardless, I'm still going to play Dishonored 2. I'm not going to do a um, super pure, stealth, avoid everything type of play style. I'm just going to go through probably murdering a lot of people, probably getting like an evil alignment type thing. Um, but that will be on the channel. In addition, Watch Dogs 2 coming out in November. That will also be on the channel. And then probably the biggest hyped game uh, of the 2016 Q4, Final Fantasy 15. Need a drink. God, I love green tea. It makes your voice nice and baby smooth. If any of you want to learn how I got my voice like this, it's drinking tons of green tea. I don't know. That may be part of it. Anyway, um, so yeah, Final Fantasy 15. Now, this game is just from like some of the things I've read. Like there was, um, there was one of the reviewers got their hands on it, and they went through like the first three chapters of the game. I think it took them like 20 to 30 hours, and there's like 15 or 16 chapters in the game. So you know we're looking at at a 100 to 200 hour game here. Now. With the nature of Final Fantasy, and don't get me wrong, I love Final Fantasy, but given the nature of Final Fantasy, I don't think it's a very good game for a Let's Play series. Um, rest assured, I'm going to be playing the shit out of it, but more than likely that will all be on stream. Um, and the reason for that is just just by how Final Fantasy is, and I mean, you could do this with like Lightning Returns, but with the older Final Fantasies, you know, you think about 7, 8, and that's kind of the formula they're going back to, but but updated with open world roaming and whatnot, and it's not, it doesn't facilitate like nice 20, 30 minute episodes. It's the kind of game that you sit and you play it for like four hours until you find a nice place to take a break. So with that in mind, we are going to be playing Final Fantasy 15, but more than likely it will be streamed versus uh, being a Let's Play slash walkthrough type series. Um, so of course that will be on both YouTube and Twitch, just something to keep in mind. And then of course in December we have South Park Fractured But Whole. As you guys know, Stick of Truth, fucking loved it. Um, actually, probably my two all-time favorite games, not in terms of gameplay, but just in terms of laughter, were the Deadpool game they made and then the Stick of Truth. Those two games, I was just like, oh man, I was laughing my ass off literally the entire time. And based on what I've seen from Fractured Butthole, I feel it will just as easily live up, if not surpass, Stick of Truth. So definitely looking forward to that. It'll be really fun for December. Um, so, moving on from there, as we get into 2016, or uh, 2017, excuse me, there's a bunch of other titles coming up. Um, you know, the most one I'm most hope hyped for, at least, is going to be For Honor. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of titles we'll be tackling when we get there, and I'll probably do another video like this around then to give you guys another update. Um, but either way, let's get into some other things that I've been meaning to discuss. So, um, <clears throat> for example, a lot of you guys have been going, let's, let's start off with the big one, Summer of Witcher. When is Summer of Witcher happening? Cowboy, when's Summer of Witcher? Summer of Witcher, it's, it's August. It's almost, we're almost out of summer. When's Summer of Witcher? I know, I know. And unfortunately, it can't be the Summer of Witcher anymore because summer is ending. Kids are back in school. So, what I'm going to do, because I do want to play it. I didn't, I didn't pick up Witcher 1 and Witcher 2 for nothing. I still fucking love The Witcher. It's one of my all-time favorite series. But, looking at the upload schedule and games that are coming out, January, there's like nothing. There's like a Yakuza game coming out, which I haven't even looked at at all. And then in February, you start getting some big drops coming out. Um, you know, you got, uh, what is it, Lost Horizon, the game with the bows and the dinosaurs. I don't know, it just looks fucking crazy good. Um, you got For Honor, and then towards the either end of the month or March, you got the new 
uh, Tom Clancy Wildlands game. But January and after, well, right, December, like I said, we have fractured butthole. And then um, kind of the, the rest of that month, there's not much. And January is empty. So instead of Summer of Witcher, we are going to do the Winter of Witcher. So what that's going to mean is basically come December, <clears throat> um, as soon as I'm finished up South Park Fractured Butthole, we will begin our playthrough of Witcher. These will be dual streamed on both YouTube and Twitch, of course. We're going to go through Witcher 1, we're going to go through Witcher 2, and we're going to go through Witcher 3. Now, just because of the length of tackling all three of these titles and attempting to do this in uh, approximately a month and a half, we're not going to be going balls deep into every single side quest in the games, but we will be, um, you know, getting enough of the story, and we're going to be going through it. I mean, I won't be as thorough as I was in my first playthrough of The Witcher 3, but I'm still going to be thorough. You know, I'm not just going to fly through the game, but just to give you guys an idea of it. Um, on to some other stuff. Uh, let's see. No Man's Sky. Everyone's asking, Cowboy, where's No Man's Sky? Cowboy, why aren't you playing No Man's Sky? Oh my god, No Man's Sky, No Man's Sky. Honestly, fuck No Man's Sky. And the reason I say that is because the fact that they released a PC port that doesn't have joystick or throttle support, that's fucking bullshit. The PC port of that game was literally, they took the PS4 version and they slapped it into a, a fucking, a, a, I don't know, they, they slapped it into Steam and then somebody shit on it and they smeared shit all over it and then they were like, look, No Man's Sky PC. Fuck that. When that game is updated and it's not riddled with bugs on PC anymore, and when they add fucking joystick support, because I got a goddamn X55 side tech joystick that I bought for Elite Dangerous and another upcoming title, Star Citizen, and everyone's like, are you going to play No Man's Sky? And I'll tell you what, I was like, ah, eh, you know, it's kind of colorful, it's Minecrafty, you know, I like the space, but I don't really like the Minecrafty, I think space, I think Cowboy Bebop. Like, Elite Dangerous, that fucking hit my space boner perfect. I was all about that game. And the only reason I stopped playing it is because I fucking achieved everything. I had a python that was so fucking pimped out I could murder like four anaconda players at the same time. I was like, just get out of my way. I can outmaneuver you and blow up your shit so fast. And there's new content in that, and I could go back, but I've just been busy with other stuff. Um, you know, you Star Citizen. Star Citizen looks fucking great, but that's not completely done yet. That's been in like a permanent alpha. And when that's released, I will play the shit out of that. But No Man's Sky, just like, you know, all the colors and shit, like, <clears throat> I could maybe get past that. Maybe. If I could use my fucking joystick. And the fact that I can't use my joystick in a goddamn space sim is offensive. So fuck No Man's Sky. When they add joystick support, I'll play No Man's Sky. Um, moving on from there. Fallout DLC. A lot of you guys have been wanting me to play the Fallout DC. Um, I want to play it too. You know, we got Nuka World coming up. And that's the last of the Fallout 4 DLC. Um, so the big ones are obviously going to be that and Far Harbor. I do want to get back to that. Um... You know, September, if I can get through the Bioshock remasters fast enough, I'll likely end up starting that then. Uh, but yeah, I do want to play that. I do I do want to get through it. I was enjoying Fallout. I'm a bigger Skyrim fan than everything. Um, you know, like it's just in terms, I shouldn't say Skyrim. I'm an Elder Scrolls fan compared to Fallout. I mean, they're both good games, but if I have to pick a universe, I'm a much bigger fan of the fantasy style of uh, Elder Scrolls. So that brings us on to the next topic, Skyrim Remastered. A lot of you guys have been asking about that. You're going to do Skyrim Remastered. Personally, I feel like Skyrim Remastered is kind of, you know, unnecessary. It's it's basically Skyrim on PC with mods. Um, but regardless, I, I might look into it. Um, if I don't, I know there's that other game. It's the, the somebody, some German dudes, they completely rebuilt Skyrim with, like, a whole new quest line and models and everything. Um, it's called, like, Dragon Falcon or something, I don't know. Uh, but that could be something to cool to check out. But just because of all the Skyrim I've already done, um, you know, it's not something that's immediately at the top of the list in terms of priorities of things to do. Um, as for other titles, we're going to continue playing. Um, Dead by Daylight, you guys have been seeing some more of that on the channel recently uh, with the release of The Nurse, which I fucking love. She is brutal. Uh, so there's definitely going to be more Dead by Daylight coming up. It's just a... F it's, I mean, this sounds fucked up, but it's so fun to just murder people. It's like, it's such a good stress reliever, you know? That probably makes me sound like a psychopath, but I swear I don't murder people in real life. So, going on from there. Let's see, what else do I got? What else do I got? I don't have anything else on my list. Oh, um, if you guys don't already, if, if, if you have Twitter, follow me on Twitter, because I get questions all the time, like, Cowboy, when's, when's this event? Cowboy, where's this stream? 
Um, whatever the case is, like a lot of that stuff, I'll send out tweets for. So if you guys have questions or you want to get in touch with me, Twitter is the best way. I, keep, I got my phone on me all the fucking time. If you send me a tweet, I will get back to you within less than a day. Um, and on top of that, Discord. So for those that don't know, Discord is kind of like a perpetual just community hub. Um, I set up a Discord for the channel. We got a lot of people coming in from stream. So I'm going to be posting a link to the Discord in the description below. Um, if you guys have Discord, hop on there. There's a bunch of people. We're always in there talking. We got voice chats in there. We're talking about games. Uh, also make announcements about uh, contests or upcoming streams or just changes to what I'm doing in the Discord. So, um, you know, while Twitter is a great way to get a hold of me individually, um, if you want to reach me or just, you know, people to bullshit with and play games with, definitely check out the Discord. Like I said, link will be in the description for that. Great times. Um, aside from that, what else do we got? What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Huh. Oh, that's right. Dark Souls 3. Cowboy, when are you going to play Dark Souls 3? Cowboy, Dark Souls 3. Cowboy, Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3. Well, Dark Souls 3. I know. I know. I know. I know. You guys want more Dark Souls 3. I get that. Now, bear with me for a second. When Dark Souls 3 came out, I did a Let's Play. I did the walkthrough. I did the streams of the Dex build. I did the Ashen Wand streams. I did the quality build streams. I did the, the, what else? There was another build I did. Um, I don't even fucking remember. I did the, the, I did some of the mage build. I streamed him a little bit. We streamed PvP. We did the Arena of Blood. We did build videos. And the fact was that I was just doing so much Dark Souls that I knew that if I kept doing it, I would burn myself out and never want to fucking touch the game again. Now, I do still want to play Dark Souls. Um, obviously, if you guys do have Twitter, you've seen that the Dark Souls Twitter has been making some announcements. Um, supposedly a big announcement coming the 24th of August, so my guess is they're going to discuss the DLC drop and when it's going to be. Um, rest assured, we will be doing a full walkthrough and let's play the DLC. Um, I also have three more builds in mind coming up. Uh, one, the quality build, which we finished the streams of, I just never produced the build video. Uh, the Ashen One build. Ashen One! Awesome. A lot of fun. Definitely check those out if you guys haven't. That was a blast. Uh, so that's going to be a build video. And then the third one, I wanted to do kind of a sword and board type character that's like super tanky, um, that's more of a PvE focus, maybe level like a good mount past the meta, um, so you'll go heavy armor in the shield, and have it just be that character that can fucking block anything and just fucking beat the shit out of stuff after the fact with a nice heavy one-hander. Um, so yeah, there's going to be more Dark Souls stuff coming. You know, more build videos are going to be on the way. Um, on top of that, rest assured, when the DLC releases, I will be doing the full walkthrough as well as a Let's Play series for the DLC. It might mix up the characters just to make things a little bit different. Um, you know, maybe do... Uh, I'll have to see which ones I got. Um, oh, I forgot I have the OP build too. I don't really touch him anymore. He just makes people rage. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do the walkthrough maybe with the quality build. Um... And then the Let's Play, I might pull back out the Pyro. We'll see. Um, so either way, um, now that we've touched on that, I do think that sums up everything I wanted to tell you guys. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. But I don't think there is. Um, so either way, hopefully this video answered um, a lot of the questions you guys have had. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of questions just in videos lately, and I'm like, you know, just, just give me a little bit. Just give me a little bit. I've been wanting to get this out because I feel like this is going to address a lot of questions and concerns that a lot of you guys have had. Um, so either way, there's going to be lots of good content coming up. Um, if you guys don't, definitely check out the streams. We have a lot of fun on the streams. Whether you're a fan of YouTube or Twitch, it's always a great time on streams. And it's it's a lot more fun, in my opinion, to be able to interact with you guys live there than just after the fact in the comment section of a video. Um, on top of that, once again, please join the Discord if you have it. Like, I want to get tons of people in there because it's, you know, it's just fun. It's having people to talk to. It's having people to play games with. People be like, you want to do this? Yeah, sure. Let's hop on. Let's do this. And we're all a community united by our love for booty. So we can all get along. Um, <clears throat> and on top of that, last thing I want to mention, um, of course, as I mentioned, World of Warcraft back at the start of the video. If you guys do play World of Warcraft and you want to join... Um, Horde on the server Illidan, we established a guild. I actually got the name the Booty Warriors. Or I think it was just Booty Warriors. Yeah, we're Booty Warriors. We are the Booty Warriors, is the point. I don't know how the fuck we got that guild name, but that is awesome. So we basically have a guild that's been established. Um, you know, everyone's leveling up, getting ready for Legion. So whether you guys are starting for the first time to play, 
or you know you, you just want to make an alt to join or maybe you want to transfer a character everyone is welcome uh, on top of that because you know legion is coming out if you're someone that's just starting wow and there's interested like i said this goes back to the discord you know find somebody else who's just starting out recruit a friend you guys boom both level up like four times the speed it'd be great uh, but anyway guys that is going to wrap up this update video like i said probably have another one of these coming to you guys um I want to start trying to do them every couple months, so probably around December or so, just to give you guys an update on what we can look forward to going into 2017. So that's going to close things out for now, and we will catch you guys next time.